PolitiFact is an independent fact-checking organization dedicated to helping the public sort fact from fiction in American politics. Teen Vogue has teamed up with PolitiFact to bring rigorously fact-checked information to Teen Vogue readers. To submit a claim that you think PolitiFact should check, click here. President Donald Trump has a habit of making controversial claims about women, especially Hillary Clinton. Sometimes it's hard to untangle the truth from the lies when it comes to Trump's statements, so we teamed up with PolitiFact to unravel the patterns underlying how the president talks about women and the way Trump supporters follow his lead. Here are some of the biggest lies Trump has told about women. Point one: Trump wrongly blames Hillary Clinton for influencing the nonpartisan investigations. Last Wednesday, Trump tweeted that Hillary Clinton gave FBI Director Andrew McCabe $700,000 for his wife's campaign and that, since McCabe was in charge of the Clinton investigation, he should have been replaced. Despite what Trump said, McCabe never actually got the money for his wife Jill McCabe. An FBI ethics agreement required McCabe not to participate in fundraising or support of any kind for his wife's campaign. McCabe does not deserve the credit for his wife's fundraising successes and political aspirations. Trump's implication that Clinton was trying to influence the investigation distorts key elements of the story. The nearly $700,000 actually came from a Terry McAuliffe PAC. McAuliffe, the Virginia governor, is a longtime ally of Clinton, but there is no evidence that Clinton herself was at all involved with the contribution. Additionally, Andrew McCabe WASNT involved in the Clinton investigation until he became the FBI's deputy director in February of 2016, three months after his wife's defeat to the incumbent, Republican Dick Blake. Basically, Trump is falsely claiming Clinton tried to influence the FBI investigation into her emails through a monetary donation, though there is no evidence to support this point too. He makes damaging, and ultimately false, accusations against female critics. Before Trump entered the White House, he lied about female critics, including journalists Megyn Kelly and Michelle Fields. He claimed Kelly lied about Trump's derogatory language toward women, even though he said exactly what Kelly mentioned in the August 2016 debate. He also claimed Fields cried wolf when she accused his campaign manager at the time, Corey Lewandowski, of grabbing her, even though Lewandowski was arrested and charged with simple battery. According to a video of the incident, it looks like he did grab her, and the police report says the video is consistent with what Fields alleged. Trump also said that Fields found out that there was a security camera, and that they had her on tape, then changed her story. Yet PolitiFact found no evidence to support his claim Fields' story changed since the initial report. Following their conflicts with Trump, both women were subject to vicious online harassment from his supporters. Point three. Trump uses sexuality as a weapon when he attacks women, inspiring his supporters to hurl sexist insults. Another theme we found by analyzing Trump's lies with PolitiFact was a penchant for misinformation about sexual violence. Trump often uses sexuality to attack women. For example, in September of last year Trump tweeted to check out the sex tape connected to former Miss Universe Alicia Machado. He also insinuated that Machado received help from Crooked Hillary. In an earlier debate, Hillary spoke about Machado's allegations that Trump had called her Miss Piggy. In the second debate, in which his Machado tweet was brought up, Trump reiterated that she was no Girl Scout and also made the ridiculous claim that he never told his followers to check out a sex tape. Though it's beside the point, no sex tape has ever surfaced. Trump also encourages the public to disregard women who have accused him of sexual assault. PolitiFact found in October that most accusations against Trump haven't been challenged by any narrative other than his own denials, despite his claim they were largely debunked. This attempt to discredit women who speak out against violence reflects the same pattern Trump displayed with Fields. He may still believe that women and people who subvert strict binary gender norms are a dangerous distraction altogether. Back in 2013, Trump tweeted rape was the inevitable consequence of putting men and women together in the military. He quipped then what did these geniuses expect? With this language, Trump promotes two contradictory ideas at once women allegedly lie about sexual violence while also saying that sexual violence is supposedly a typical consequence of being in close contact with men, at least those in the military. All things considered, Trump repeatedly insinuates women are dishonest, especially when it comes to sexuality and sexual violence.
Whether he talks about the military, critics, or former political rivals, one of Trump's most popular lies encourages supporters not to trust women. Related Donald Trump is bragging about the progress of a tax bill that doesn't exist. Check this out.